Fish are alive and they feel pain, period. I remember when I was a kid, we were eating fish by a river in Japan. Now I've eaten fish before, but this memory really stuck with me because I actually witnessed the fish being killed. I saw the man pick him up, and while he was still alive and flailing around, shove a skewer down his throat. And after that, he placed him on the grill while he was still alive. When you see a fish out of water, you're seeing a frightened animal who can't breathe. When fish suffocate, their gills collapse, and the change in pressure can rupture their swim bladder. It's like being thrown into the sea with a cinder block tied to your feet. But I still ate that fish that day, and many more after that, despite my increasing revulsion towards fishing. Years later when I went vegan, I realized that it was my own speciesism that had allowed me to ignore my conscience. Speciesism, the misguided belief that humans are superior to all other animal species. Speciesism is so ingrained in our society that most people don't even notice it. Speciesism is why we think it's okay to drag a fish out of their underwater homes to eat them. Speciesism is why we try to hide the fact that there's a carcass on our plate by calling it seafood. Fish are not objects that belong to us. They're individuals who want to live just like us. Checking your speciesism and acknowledging that fish can suffer can be as simple as leaving them in the water. Their life is in your hands and this is your chance to make the right decision. Don't blow it.